Okay, so Ubisoft Club will figure you out for next time. For now, hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to Starlink Battle for Atlas. It's a weird combo. It's like, I think I think somebody at Ubisoft said, hey, you know what hasn't had a whole lot of like games lately? Star Fox. Let's make like a weird Star Fox RPG thing, and then see if Nintendo will let us put Star Fox in it, which they did. Uh, I don't actually know if this has Star Fox gameplay, but it's got a lot of ships. I know there's like a physical toy component, but I didn't buy any of them. I just bought the digital pack, uh, which is like 80 bucks, and you just get all the characters anyway. And I don't have to buy a bunch of uh, physical toys to jam onto my controller, because I don't want to do that. That would be more fun, I think, if I was a little kid. I almost almost bought the uh, the physical one with the R-Wing, uh, but I didn't want to deal with that at all. I, I, I just prefer digital. It's so much nicer. Once I'm done with the game, I can just delete it, not think about it until I want to play it again. Or somebody else wants to play it. Anyway, let's just play normal. Offers a balanced playthrough, strategy, and story. Great for first playthroughs. So combat challenge medium. Legion spread normal. That's interesting. I wonder if this is game is designed to be repeatable. Probably is. So respawn an allied outpost after getting shot down. Make friends. Some animals in Atlas are hostile when attack on sight. Shade stealth or expedition cloaking armor could help. Interesting. A most good Star Fox. I'm always floored that more people, more indie studios have not made, uh, more indie, indie studios have not made, like, a, a Star Fox equivalent. There aren't that many of them, and I, it's shocking to me. Huh. So the Starlink mount is just a full-on controller. Neat. I'm playing digitally, I don't care. So we get to play as... A bunch of different characters. I I got the uh, the digital pack, so I can play as kind of anything. I wonder how many of these characters uh, I don't have. I got a bunch, so we've got... Let's go through the list. So we've got Mason Rana. I think he's the basic character that you're, you're supposed to use. Uh, Orbital Strike, Genius Inventor of Starlink Technology. Mason can call a wide area blast from the Equinox. Star Fox! Rock and roll, ace pilot and leader of Star Fox. Uh, let's see. I like this guy. Judge is cool. Time shift. Mysterious liquid life form in search of his origins. Judge has the power to slow time itself. He just he just looks cool. I like his armor. This guy looks pretty cool too. Expedition. Oh, I see. Dedicated researcher, eager to unlock Atlas's mysteries. Carl. Oh, his name is Carl Zeon. Uh, can capture and redirect enemy attacks. Okay, Outlaw. Yeah, so pretty much the only characters that I actually care about are, like, the weird non-human ones. I really like Carl Zeon because, guess what? I, I am I am Carl. My name is Carl. But for all intents and purposes, and I know everybody is going to want me to do this, we're going to play as Star Fox the first round, and then we will, if we do another round, I'll do as... Uh, I'll do a round with with uh, Judge or Carl. We'll see how uh, how repeatable this game is. Well, let's play as Fox. All right, now we get to uh, we get to pick our ships. So we've got the Zenith, the R-Wing, Neptune, Nadir, Lance, and Pulse. Well, I mean, let's be honest here. R-Wing. Okay, what weapons can we get? So we have a bunch. Meteor Mark II, Overheating Ram? Interesting. Flamethrower, Hailstorm, Volcano, Freeze Ray, Frost Barrage, Shredder... Shockwave, Levitator, Nullifier, Imploder, Crusher, Gauss Gun Mark II, Shredder Mark II, Iron Fist. So let's go with the Shredder and the Gauss Gun, I think. So, precise rapid fire bullets and a precise siege rail gun. That seems like a decent combo. What about mod ship and weapons? Oh god. There's more here. There's a lot of things that I can just do here. Um, hi. 
So we don't have any mods. So it looks like there's a whole, there's a whole like, oh, pilot skills. What the devil? You know what? Screw it. I'm not even gonna look at this stuff. Let's um, let's look at this stuff later. It looks like this game's repeatable or something. After making contact with an alien that crashed on Earth, astro astrophysicist Victor Saint Grand secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore the stars. He named the alien Judge and called the team the Starlink Initiative. Aboard their Nova-powered mothership, the team arrives in the Atlas star system, seeking answers about Judge's origins. Oh, it's like one part Enterprise, one part Mass We're Relay. Here. Atlas. Jewel of the Pleiades. <gasps> Look! <laughs> Welcome to Atlas. Oh, man, I'm gonna get so many hits back on Earth. No, you're not. Levi? No one's supposed to know about this. I'm looking to change that. Chase, Levi. One of you will need to be outside to help Hunter with the escort. Okay. Wait! He said one of us. <laughs> Scans off, St. Grand. It's incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. Looks like our delivery is coming in hot. Right. Let's get our ears on. Can you hear me? What happened? Do you have it? Yeah, but these guys don't like it when you steal from them. Sensitive types. Could use a little help here. She's not gonna make it. Get to the Equinox. We're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge, take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. Okay. You think that's bad? Okay, this is kind of cool. You boys seeing this? Yeah, but it's not Wolf, so who cares? It looks like they're outnumbered. You know what I'm thinking. Absolutely, <sighs> positively not. We came here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to take down. Ugh. I knew I should have retired back on Corn Area. Okay. Let's rock and roll, boys. 
Okay, Fox, we're close enough to hail them. I'm patching you through now. Identify yourself. Who are you guys? What's up? We're Star Fox. We thought you could use a hand with these punks. Where did these guys come from? We could use a few extra ships. Team, what do you think? They seem friendly enough. Also looks like we're all headed to the same place. We may not have much of a choice. Okay, looks like we've got a few more wingmates. Hang on, Shade. We're on our way. Okay, this is cute. I really, I dig this. I really, like, I'm actually really digging this. That was a really good introduction to- these guys are kind of fast. Not fast enough. Check this out. I mean, like, it, they're a bit chatty, but, like, that was a really good introduction to, uh, to, like, the Star Fox crew. <laughs> Thanks. We're gonna hear that a lot, aren't we? That was a really good introduction. The controls are great. Like... I, after playing a ton of oh hello, No Man's Sky, this combat system's pretty good. Works well. Hey, nice work, new kid. Thanks. St. Ground, how's it going down there? I'm almost there. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer. Breach in reactor hull. Everyone, back to the ship! The reactor's been breached! On our way. Just one more left. St. Grand. What's going on? He's gone! They took St. Grant! What? No! All units, brace yourselves! We're going down! Ah. No. getting through all this interference ah uh, flight engines are down guess I'm on reserve power gotta find the boys all right I really like this it's very charming the visuals are good the combat felt really good and you know a little bit a little bit kiddish but like whatever and uh the integration of Star Fox a little shoehorny but like not bad and suddenly I really want these guys to make a Star Fox game I just want a new Star Fox I want a good new Star Star Fox game hmm oh well this will have to do and I mean it seems like it's gonna do it well controls pretty well so I did not ex I thought this was gonna be a lot more space battles but I guess we're exploring planets oh you want to dance enemy analysis complete recommend short-range weaponry Okay, how, how do we... How do we change weaponry here? Yeah, apparently it's a third-person shooter. I was not expecting this. What is the button to... Okay, 
Can I change the Gauss gun? Yep, I can just switch out all of, all of these. What do we got? Nullifier, Follies. So it looks like you gain EXP based on what you're, uh, what you're using. Iron Fist? Oh, I can even switch ships at any point in time. Cool, so laser cannon. Wait. I apparently duped- Oh! Oh, you can switch out wings too. What? Okay, that's weird. That'll take some doing. Link wing? Link wing? Oh! Okay! There is some stuff. Uh, oh, okay. So, we want to switch from the Gauss gun to the Iron Fist. There we go. Okay. This is gonna take some- this is gonna take some learning, but that's neat. Yeah, so there are physical toys that you can buy for this game and you can mix and match parts, apparently. Or, you could do the really nice thing and not do that and just buy it digitally. So, I guess if you're a kid and you want toys, Looks worth like it. That ship. The Equinox. Oh, what now? Enemy analysis complete. Okay. Recommend elemental combination. So, Volcano or Frost Barrage? Sure, why not? Okay, let's stick an A to dodge. Well, let's switch out my weapons. Uh, so we've got the flamethrower, meteor, meteor, probably the meteor. And I should have the frost barrage. I'm just gonna try things out. Oh! When they say... Uh, when they say ram, they ain't kidding. <laughs> you asked for it. Ha <laughs> ha! You made it. You're the last one to report in, but I never doubted you for a second. Peppy, everyone okay? Fox, is it? Well, we were ambushed. Whoever attacked us kidnapped our captain during the battle. We appreciate your help, though. Well, they're not gonna get away with that. Come on. Let's go get them! We can't! Those freaks who took St. Grand also stole our reactor. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. Hmm. Gotta be something we can do here. Maybe there is. I rigged our tech with their ship. Check out your map. So I have some kind of shield system, sorry. Getting distracted with resources. So there's crafting. Probably for an upgrade system. There's your ship. You should be able to see everything within the scan radius. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory, for now. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. Okay, I'll go see what's up. Be careful. We don't know what's out there. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that's out there. A bunch of killer robots! Yeah, we've only been here a week, but we've taken out a lot of them. There's just no reasoning with those things! Bunch of pests, if you ask me! Yeah? Well, bring them on! They make good target practice. Okay, so I can pick up- I can pick up some of these supplies here. Not this? Okay. Can I shoot any of this? Does this give me anything? Okay, I'm liking the missiles. I'm not so interested in the rams. Let's switch away from the meteor. Flamethrower? No. Precise overheating Gatling. That sounds interesting. Sure. Works for me. Alright, and I guess we're just going to wander around and do story mission stuff for a while. Maybe? Maybe not. Let's just wander around. It is the Star Fox cameo is very well done. Yeah, they're inter integrating it incredibly well. I I have mixed feelings on Ubisoft in a lot of ways, you know, over monetization. I mean, I paid six uh I, I paid 80 bucks for this. Which is like it's a little steep, and it would have been nice to just, you know, buy, say, a full game for 60 bucks and not have like extra monetization stuff. At the same time, like, first impressions mean a lot in games like these. And they nailed it. They nailed it real well. Inventory is full. Oh, good. Okay, so we, we have to worry about inventory space. Let's go back to the ship. See what I can do. I wonder if we'll be able to fly around on the planet, like above. 
And thank you, CYK says hi for the uh, two month resub. Star Fox, woo. Yeah. I I didn't really grow up with Star Fox as much as like some people did. Uh, but as I got older, I, I spent a lot more time with the uh, with this series. I played through all of Star Fox 64 in high school. And then I played, uh, shoot, what was the... I actually, it was Star Fox Adventures that was the first one I ever played. In, weirdly enough. Okay, so how do I... It doesn't look like I can do anything with my inventory right now. What is? So that's loadout. There's mod, there's pilot skills. Oh, I see. You can only hold a certain amount of each resources. Resource, maybe. Okay, well, I guess let's just do uh, let's just do plot stuff for a while. Until we figure out what to do with items. I'm sure they're going to uh, tutorialize everything, so it'll be easier if I don't screw around too much. Star Fox Adventures was a lot of fun. It was. I don't understand why everybody was so mad about it. I, I guess it felt weird and shoehorned, yeah. I like that word. Some people hate that word, but I like it. Uh, but, you know, it, it was a little weird that, you know, the Star Fox characters were in the game. At the same time, it was inventive. It was a nice Zelda alternative. Which is, I think, why I liked uh, Darksiders so much. Whoa. Nothing like that on Corneria. Try your DNA scanners on that animal. I can cross-reference the sequence with the database St. Grand assembled. I do. Sorry, ain't gonna happen. Oh. How do I do a DNA scanner? Can we can we check that? Maybe it's under options. Gameplay. Probably under gameplay. Controls. Okay. Do we have a scanner? So we have. Request, accept mission, select mission, drop, select mission, active shield, loadout, flight mode, look, aim, star map, steer, pilot ability, which we can't do. Okay, so I have no idea how to do a D DNA scanner. I guess we could just shoot it. Fine, I'll fight you. That's what you want? What the... Starlink database updated. Who's this joker? Please don't hurt me. I've done nothing wrong. Then why did you come and attack me? What was that? I am confused. He's like, if it's a fight, you The signal's coming from some kind of building. Think they're friendly? Let's hope so. Go say hi. We'll be here if you need it. Okay, well, let's interact with these things. It looks like... The, oh, hold wide to talk. Oh, good. You're back. Wait, you're not Thicket. Nah, oh, where's my assistant when you need him? The name's Fox. I'm looking for some fuel and figured you might be able to help. Hmm? Oh, sorry. My missing assistant has me all flustered. You haven't seen a squat, leafy fellow wandering around, have you? No, but maybe we can help each other out. Offer help. I sent Thicket to put down a beacon, and he set it right next to an imp hive. Stars knows where he is, but I need that hive removed. Then I can help you with uh, fuel, was it? Sounds good to me. What a night. Nope. I accidentally interrupted Slippy. Oh well. Hey, you said it was an imp hive, right? <laughs> Imps, such nasty little machines. Of all the Legion, they irk me the most. I find the best way to handle them is, well, not to handle them at all. But I hear combustion works. Fire, huh? I like how you think. Now that we're equipped with Starlink, we've got lots of options. Try the flamethrower. Well, we might as well do that. I've already got the volcano. So yeah, let's, let's try the flamethrower, see what happens. So it actually looks like the flamethrower literally just does throw flame. Uh, it's less of a, a sustained, you know, less of a sustained AOE, and much more of a like blast things and toast them. Okay. Analysis 
analysis, the Nova may be more easily dislodged if targeted with cold weaponry. All right, let's keep, let's just keep messing with these different guns. I'm liking this. I'm like, I'm liking this a lot, actually. I, I know the reviews, I think, were a little bit more in the, like, maybe, I want to say they're on the middling. It was like sevens and eights, which is weird to say is middling, because that should actually be pretty good. So, Heat Corrupted Nova. What do I use this thing for? I have no idea. That's okay, we'll just kind of hang out here. I'm very glad that there's no ammo system in this game, from what I can see. It's much more of a just, like, just cooldown base. Pluck Vault Door. Too close. Oh, I see. Too far, get closer. Oh, I see. Okay. So what do we got in here? So we actually have like a mini dungeon looking thing in here. Tight quarters, obviously. Anything interesting? Oh! So we do want to shoot those things. So... There's mods that we can pick up by, by breaking these containers. Okay. Guess I'm going out of my way for that. An Electrum Rush Cash. Free stuff. Well, this is neat. Man. Adult me is, is jealous of kids sometimes. I don't know. I, I'm glad I grew up when I did. I feel like there's a lot of game history and, you know, great games that came out that I think I would, you know, that don't hold up as much anymore. At the same time, like, man, to be like 10 years old at this point, have this be like one of the first games you ever play. A little jealous. Cold canister. Wait. How do I... I have no idea what to do with the gold canister. Weapons having no effect. Heat cash. I have no idea. Oh, hi. Okay, just a bunch of imps hanging out here. Well, I'm just gonna switch back and forth between the Gatling and my homing missiles. I really like the, uh, the homing missiles. And yeah, I have straight up have no idea what I'm supposed to do with the uh, with the canister. Oh, why to throw? I'm a moron. I didn't even see it. I was too busy just Rudy Tooty gun in shooting. I wasn't even. I wasn't paying attention. I should have been paying attention. There's something here. Is there? Maybe it's in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we've got more of these bombs. Might as well pick them up. We're looking for... Oh, there's there's probably just another one of those up there. Yeah, press Y to throw. I figured it out. Pretty effective, too. And yeah, it looks like the elemental, uh, the elemental benefits, bonuses, they're... Analysis. The Nova may be more easily dislodged if targeted with cold weaponry. What happens if I chuck one of the, uh, the... Oh, that's a stasis canister. Can I... Nope. Having no effect. So it's gotta be cold. Alright, well in that case, let's switch the volcano out for... We have a freezing beam or... Bursts of frost. Man. No Man's Sky's combat played like this, it would be so satisfying. I like No Man's Sky, but oof. the ship-to-ship uh, -ship combat always felt kind of bleh. There we go. Nope. Oh, I see. You have to kind of dig against it. Otherwise, it, it pulls you out of out of the way. I think that homes in, too, so if I just do this... Eh, it doesn't work so great in the close quarters, though. 
Give me the stuff. We'll have to see what n any of this is used for. Because I'm not sure how much you can, like, unlock in-game versus, like, not. I'm assuming most of the stuff you unlock in-game is just, uh... Just more, like, mods for your weaponry. And if you want to actually get new guns and ship parts and whatnot, you actually have to pay real money for it. Which, like, not exactly a fan of that kind of system, but... Oh, well. I'm probably going to be a sucker and, uh... Buy whatever I'm missing at some point. Though, I got the, like, digital deluxe version, and it seems to come with quite a lot. Like, I was, I was really expecting that I'd have... I, I would, uh, I'd be like, you know, only, only with like a couple extra things, but no, it, it really did just kind of hand me everything. No toys, but I don't know. And I totally understand if, uh, if people feel like getting the toys. I actually have a number of Skylanders toys, uh, sitting around. And like, you know, I think I'd, I'd have to see the toys for this game in person before I'd want to buy them. Because as it stands, I'm more interested in display pieces than like than, like, actual toy toys. I definitely don't want something attached to my controller, though. Ugh. That sort of thing's awkward. Okay, there's a red chest somewhere here. Oh, I see. Oop. That didn't work. Okay. They can jump on you! That's not okay. Well, I mean, it's fine, actually. Alright, did we get everything? I think we did. Can I check the map? Zoom in. So what's this? Shale Town. Why does it say 0 out of 17? Remains of a century-old settlement that was destroyed by the Legion during the Reawakening. There are often valuables sealed inside of them. Oh, does 0 out of 17 mean 0 out of 17 remaining? Maybe. Because there's, like, supplies you can find on the ground for, like, some kind of raw resource. The fact that I can jump with this is goofy. Yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of, like, little money bits I can get around here. Oh. Oh, it's not a jump. It's like a... It's like a... Low-altitude flight. Unfortunately, I can't really hit these boxes that well. It doesn't really seem like it's worth it. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, we got anything fancy around here? I think that's just another stasis canister. I'm I'm mildly addicted to ex exploration in games. Whoa. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Okay. So note to self, don't be next to one of those when they go off. Thank you, homing missiles, for existing. You are the best. Okay, so it looks like at this point I'm just getting, uh... Oh. Nope, I did get a mod from that. Okay, so there... There's a reason to be here. I was about to say, it doesn't seem like there's much of a reason to, to continue exploring. But no, there... This... Kind of worked out. I think it's time to, to keep it... Keep going. Neat! But I got other things to do. You just got EXP for doing a trick in the air. Cool. How do I do tricks? Oh, that's how I do tricks. That's interesting. That's cool. Enemy analysis complete. Structural weakness identified. Okay, so nullifier and imploder. Pretty sure I'm coming up on the hive. So that's where imps come from. This structure must be controlling them somehow. Nah. Okay, well, before we get too far into that, let's switch our guns. So it said imploder and nullifier. So let's let's give these weapons a go. Now there's also something about link and flip. What is flip? Oh, reversed? Okay. We also have some weapon mods here. So we have power ammo and scorching ammo. 
Heals for 10% of the damage done. Ha. Huh. Okay. So the weapon mods are actually kind of rad. And it looks like different weapons have different types. Oh, equipable only on heat weapons. Okay. I like the Gatling. So, so for example, this one, uh, Scorching Ammo, 10% extra damage and heals for 10% of the damage done. That's neat. I mean, it only heals for one, but still. And yeah, you can have guns pointing backwards, which sounds really interesting. Okay, so that's that's a cool weapon. Awkward. Considering the situation. So I've got a I've got a gravity laser. That's cool. This is cool. I was I was worried that the weapons would be different. Or weren't going to be different. It would just be like seven different flavors of the same thing. I was incorrect. Okay, so the Vortex Missile Volleys oh, versus, versus the Siege Vortex Launcher. Neat. Okay, so what I want to do is probably switch out the Imploder. Does it have a mod on it? No, it doesn't. Let's try... Let's go back to the, the Volcano. I like the Volcano and the ability to heal. Myself as we go along is neat. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot this thing. Okay, do we have a better shot on this thing? Yeah, there we go. All right, that imp hive is toast. Ah, wonderful. No hive, no imps. Just the way I like it. I have some Electrum waiting here for you, as promised. Oh. Uh, our ship actually takes Nova. Nova? Where did you say you were from? Well, most of us are from a planet called Earth. My home planet is Papatum. Hmm. Well, the only way to get Nova here is to salvage the core from an extractor. But, uh, well, it should appear on your map. This is neat. So... Is there anything interesting back here? Not really. It looks like I can just load these up for shooting. Never mind. What is this? Just a random mod? Survival booster. Okay. Oh, did I? Nope. Didn't lose my goodies. Might as well just kind of run around and uh, do whatever. Oh, you can combine the Nova. By shooting fire into the Nova, it makes, like, a weird Fire Nova thing. Yeah, Fire Vortex. Oh! Okay. That's really cool. So, so having multiple elements in a combo is actually incredibly effective. So, I don't do as much damage, uh... I don't do as much damage with the actual gun, but the enemy gets caught in this massive damage over time effect. Ho ho ho! Weapon combos are cool. Yeah, seriously. Like, there's only a couple of games I know of that actually have good weapon combos. Uh, like in, uh, shoot. Easy example is, uh, what is this? What are you? Can I shoot this? Weapons having no effect. A word of advice. I've observed that some spires require the power of two different elements. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we got to switch the nullifier out for let's just do the hailstorm. There we go. Got it. Starlink database updated. Let's see. Earlier when you were using ice and fire, do a thermal way too many. Thermal shock explosion. Really? That's really cool. This is really cool. Okay, we gotta look at this. Interesting. Now that we have helped this observatory, our visibility on the planet has increased. There's a Legion extractor. 
Looks like that's our target. Okay, so we're here. What is this? An Electrum Vein. Oh, cool. A word of warning. Extractors are Legion machines. Before my time, they were easy to salvage. But since the reawakening, they defend themselves most efficiently. But you all seem desperate. They're competent enough. Just bring the core to me and we'll be done. How do I use this thing? Doesn't look like it can do anything with it. We'll probably te uh, figure it out as we go along. There might be some enemies there. We just figured, filled that out. What's this? Pioneer wreckage. I think I probably want to leave these alone for a bit. So we've already done the observatory. I believe. There's another anchor over there. A lot of things to mess with. Let's just let's just head this direction. I guess actually I don't I don't need a I don't need a beacon at all. We know exactly where it is. Okay. I am So I'm not gonna say first impressions are everything in a video game, but this is probably one of the strongest first impressions I've ever seen in a game. And like I will admit, I tend to be I tend to be one of those people. Yeah, thermal shock. Neat. Okay, let's let's switch it up a little bit. Let's let's get some missiles. Let's see what frost vortexes do. It looks like it's kind of about the same thing. Ton of damage. You might... Yeah, it doesn't actually do a whole lot of damage as much... Not as much as the Fire Vortex, that's for certain. Maybe? Yeah, the Fire... Oh, right. The reason why the Fire Vortex does a ton of damage is purely because of the... Um, uh, purely because of the... The, like, elemental weakness that the, the enemies have. Okay. Having to pause the game every time to switch weapons is pretty annoying. Well, you're supposed to have the toys, maybe. But obviously, I don't have the toys. Nor do I want them that much. I don't know. Like, I'd rather have the ship, no guns. Big storm up ahead. Ah, oh, yes. The extractor should be just inside. Okay, so we, we've done that. Let's switch from frost to... What are these? Looks like that might be elementless. We also have this thing, stasis missile. Sure, and let's switch away from the nullifier to railgun, rapid fire bullets. I mean, I like the volcano, and the volcano heals me. Okay, siege missile seems kind of neat. Ton of damage, and it seems to really just lock them in place for a while. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, what do we have around here? What are these things? Bone fruit. Oh, I see. That's how you do this. So the meters along the sides move down. The the markers move down the, the meters. And then as long as you keep it within the sweet spot, you get it. Neat! Let's see, any multiplayer here? Haven't tried it yet. Uh, I could do some multiplayer once we get past the... Um... Oh. New discovery, extractor, thing. Yeah, once we get out into the world... Enemy analysis complete. Siege weaponry recommended. I'm not a, against trying to, uh... Whoa! Whose idea was this anyway? It's the only idea we got. First, you'll need to target the nodes along the perimeter. Aim for the red power cells. Once those are down, the extractor's core will be exposed. I, I think, uh, I might, I might try and convince Shell to play this with me, at least for a little bit in, in um, multiplayer or something. Because you can't do the split screen. The main problem is the split screen doesn't look look so hot. 
Alright, so we probably want to, yeah, go for the extractor nodes first. Oh, okay. So it said, uh, siege weaponry. Those extractor nodes are no joke. Keep away from their attack. Okay, maybe not flamethrower. What else do we have? I haven't tried the freezing beam. I guess we could use the freezing beam. It's down. That's it. The nodes are disabled. Now's your chance to hit the extractor. The, oh, there and we go. Dodge those lasers. Time it right, and you can jump over the laser beams. I mean, you could, if you know what you're doing, you could just fly over the whole thing. Okay, let me guess. More friends? Woo! <laughs> He's gone. The nodes are reactivating. You'll have to disable them before you can damage the extractor. There we go. I think they lived through it. Yeah, so shatter. If they're frozen... If they're frozen, they'll, uh... They'll fly. Okay, this is neat. Okay. Probably don't want to be too close to some of these things. Okay, I'm gonna switch from freeze ray. I'm just gonna keep messing with weapons. I apologize that this might be a little bit on the slow side. I just really want to see what the combos are. So stasis and gravity might not actually have a, um... A combo effect. Okay, so why don't we switch the imploder with... Uh, why don't we switch the imploder with the... Frost missiles? Because there's a frost vortex. Is there some kind of frost... well... Don't let those extractor nodes take you down. Dodge them or find cover. Okay, this kind of works a little bit better. A lot easier to aim if you don't have to aim. You can just kind of float over here. I lose my ability to English in the middle of things. I'd apologize. It's down. Sweet. Now grab that core and get out of there. The core is in the center of the extractor. Get a good hold on it and pull back. Just not too hard. Got it. Interstellar. Nova is such a rarity, you could make quite a fortune with your skills. I don't get it. Can't you just make more Nova? If only we could. Sadly, while there is plenty of Electrum to be found, no one knows how to refine it. So the only Nova left is inside those machines. And well... We're not all as brave as you are. Wow. I wonder if St. Grant knows about this. What was that? Our captain, St. Grant. He learned how to create Nova. That's how we got here. Your captain can make Nova? My stars! Why didn't you say so? Knowledge of that kind could upset the entire system. And you say he's missing? That's why we're here. I see. Fascinating. Okay. Alright, I think this is going to be a good stopping point. Uh before we get into anything major. So I really like this game. I've played five or six more hours past this point, and I like it. It's got a lot of the repetitive sandbox elements that, you know, Ubisoft is known for. Towers, unlockables, resource generators. It's, this is one hell of a large Skinner box. Uh, you know, put time in, get fun out slowly-ish. That said, the core gameplay loop is incredibly fun, and I think I'm on my third planet now? And I'm still enjoying the process, uh, even though, you know, it's it's getting kind of repetitive. Uh, it's not too hard. You know, the lack of weapon variety and unlocks is kind of a shame. And the whole, like, pay 80 bucks for the deluxe edition to get everything uh, is appreciated because I would have had to pay more. Because uh, you don't unlock more guns or ships through playing the game, which I think is a bit of a failing. You know, it's a little bit too over-monetized. They, they really should have had, you know, a little bit more in here. Uh, but that said, I would recommend this game if you're looking for a good, you know, fly around and shoot things kind of game, especially in spaceships. Like, uh, if you could combine this, this kind of structure, with, uh, more 
more structured, like, Star Fox missions, oh, that'd be an amazing game. As it stands, it's currently just kind of a good base, and hopefully, you know, maybe they learn from it, make more. I don't know. Uh, but I guess if you guys like this at all, give me a like, it helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm doing a full series on this one. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.